In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Στο παντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Mighty name of Jesus. Στο παντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Come out! Βγες έξω. Out! The mighty name of Jesus. Φεύγω, φεύγω. Oh, the name of Jesus Christ. Έξω στο όνομα του Χριστού. In Jesus name. Στο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. Come, sister, stand up. Έλα, αδερφή, σήκω. So, I, I want to talk to you. Θέλω να σου μιλήσω. Hmm? I'm seeing you disappointment in the marriage. Βλέπω απογοήτευση στο γάμο σου. Έχεις απογοήτευση στο γάμο. Not that you are not beautiful, not that you are not uh, okay. Όχι ότι δεν είσαι fine. όμορφη, είσαι εντάξει. But you are just getting disappointed always. Mm-hmm. Αλλά απλά πάντα απογοητεύεσαι. Yes. Am I right? Ναι. Έχω δίκιο, ναι. I don't know you, you don't know me. Δεν σε ξέρω, δεν με ξέρεις. Σωστά. And what is happening is that anytime something good is about to happen in your life. Το θέμα είναι ότι κάθε φορά που κάτι καλό πρόκειται να συμβεί, attack start. Mm-hmm. And you have been attacked in your dream. Mm-hmm. Έρχεται η επίθεση και έρχεται η επίθεση στο όνειρο. Now to sleep has become a tug of war. Just to sleep. Το να κοιμηθείς είναι δύσκολο πολύ. Because you will keep waking up in your dream because they are attacking you. Γιατί συνεχώς ξυπνάς στο όνειρο. Ways. Γιατί σου επιτίθενται με διάφορους τρόπους. It's correct. And when that attack comes, you know That is the end of whatever breakthrough you are expecting. Και όταν αυτή η επίθεση έρχεται, ξέρεις ότι είναι το τέλος κάθε ανοίγμα του περιμένεις. Even if someone tells you that he is interested for you, he loves you, when that attack comes, the person say, I don't want to see you again. Ακόμα και αν κάποιος σου πει ότι ενδιαφέρομαι, όταν αυτή η επίθεση έρχεται, δεν ενδιαφέρεται πια. So, this is an affliction. Satan wanted to embarrass you through this so that he would push you to do things that is not according to God's word. Αυτό είναι επίθεση, ο Σατανάς θέλει να σε τιμωρήσει ώστε να κάνεις πράγματα που δεν είναι σύμφωνα με το λόγο του Θεού. Είναι αλήθεια, είναι σωστό. Thank God today this is exposed. Ευχαριστούμε τον Θεό που σήμερα αυτό εκτέθηκε. That is the end of it. Αυτό είναι το τέλος του. Thank you God. Σε ευχαριστώ Θεέ. That's what I came for. Sister, we greet you in the name of Jesus. Please introduce yourself and tell us where you are coming from. My name is Nasu and I am coming from California, USA. During the prayer line, we saw the man of God praying for you. How did you feel at that moment? Uh, I felt a force, something very strong that was coming toward me and uh, it was pushing me. I just uh, couldn't face it. During the prayer line, the man of God gave you the prophetic message. How can you confirm all this to be true in your life? Um, it's true because, uh, for example, all the relationships that I had all ended up in a long-distance relationship. It's as if there is always something that is trying to separate me from the person I am in a relationship with. And there are also uh, difficulties in communication, difficulties in seeing each other. Uh, we do make plans for the future, but nothing happened. So, for example, uh, last time the person I am in a relationship with wanted to come visit me. As a friend was about to drop him at the airport, a car hit them and... Uh, He came, but he had a bruise on his, le- on his right side uh, because the car just hit just on that side, on the passenger side, and he was in the passenger side. And then another example is that when he, uh, sometimes he wants to see me, we, we both live in the United States, but we don't live in the same state. And when he wants to come and see me, uh, he would go to the airport and he is at the airport and then he changes his mind and then decides not to come see me. It's just that I am always separate. I have been always separated from the person I am in a relationship with. I always end up in long distance relationship. And that's what brought me here because I came to understand that something 
beyond my human capability was going on. I also see lots of attacks in my dreams. For example, before coming here, uh, I was praying against a spiritual husband and every night for 21 days, that spiritual husband was trying to counteract me. Uh, the, sp the spiritual husband is, uh, comes in my dream and he would have uh, sexual intercourse with me for a long time. And uh, when I started to pray against it, the attacks in the dream e got even stronger. Uh, I would not sleep with the window open because when I sleep with the window open, something would come and strangle me. Uh, now, lately, I know I can sleep with the window open, but this was maybe two or three years ago. I would not sleep with the window open because each time something happened. I receive prophecies of something that is supposed to come in my life and it just doesn't happen. I start to have frustrations. I start to I, I start to be triggered by things that would upset me. I, I end up in a situation where I'm expecting something and nothing happened. God is giving me, God is showing me the things that should happen in my life, but then it's as if those breakthroughs are snatched out of my hands. Sister, how do you feel after the prayer? After the prayer, I feel as if uh, a hand, a grip was lifted up from my body. I feel, I feel that it's not there anymore. I feel that a higher power uh, came to my rescue. So what would be your promise to God Almighty who gave you this wonderful blessing and breakthrough? My promise to God is that uh, I am taking God's word seriously and uh, from now on I am, uh, the Bible says that God is the rewarder of those who seek him diligently and that is what I'm going to do. Hallelujah. So we would like to advise you to stay away from sin and make the God's word a standard for your life so that this amazing breakthrough would be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.